Hey there, it's Dorlane. Welcome to my channel. I'm working on a very simple layout for my granddaughter's second birthday. I've already done two two-page spreads and this is the final one. And basically I'm using the cake topper that I made for the party and also the last of the pictures. And these happen to be when she was blowing out her birthday candles. So um, I just used a pink uh, cardstock for the base because all the other ones were pink and of course I love pink <laughs> but um, I, these are the last photos and I wanted to put them all on one page so I was really happy with that layout but then I realized or that placement but then I realized I need to do something with that pink so I do have a lot of scrap papers or pieces from the the um, other two layouts these are leftovers and they're all basically just animal prints so I decided to cut two down one of them is five by nine and the other is six by nine which um, going horizontally it is 11 inches across right five plus six yes 11 <laughs> but I don't know why I stopped at nine I should have really went to 11 so what I decided to do is once I put that down and then I realized oh it's so off because there's too much gap between you know going um, vertically so I do add a two inch strip so a two by 11 strip of another piece of pattern paper that was left over and there it is right there so I cut that down to a two inches and originally I thought you know what I'm going to keep it at 12 and see what it looks like going all the way across the page but I think it was just kind of weird so I said nah let me cut an inch off and I'm going to make it even with the others so with those three pieces of pattern paper I did create an 11 by 11 piece of paper if you want to call it that so I went ahead and removed all the items from the layout and now I'm just going to adhere those down. I'm not going to show you because it's basically me putting adhesive on the back and then placing them down. I did use my T-square ruler to place the green down first and then I just used the other two pattern papers to just, just kind of um, lay them on top of each other. And as usual, it's not perfect, but I'm good with that. I'm definitely not a perfectionist. This is not a hobby for perfectionists, <laughs> or I don't think you'd get anything done. So I laid those pictures back down in the way that I wanted them. I still think that it looks really good. I love layouts with lots of pictures. That's kind of my thing, as many pictures as possible. Um, I did decide to mat that one picture on the bottom right of my granddaughter, and I just used white. Um, if you notice, those smaller prints already had a white border. Those I print at my local Walgreens, and what I do is I do a four by six collage, and then if you add two photos, it's approximately wallet sizes, but if you add more than that, then the, the collage adjusts for the number of pictures. So that's a really fun way to get different size photos. So I just adhered those down. I adhered down the cake topper, but I realized on that cake topper there was a pretty big embellishment. It's not really a button, but it's, it's pretty thick. And I decided I didn't want that much thickness in my layout, so I peeled that off. And I'm just gonna grab a scrap piece of white paper that just happened to be on my desk, a one quarter inch, um, circle punch and then just punch that down so I do have a little bit of a center for that flower because otherwise it was kind of like a gluey mess but once I do that I kind of look at the page and think really there isn't much room or need for anything else it's obvious that we're saying happy birthday to the birthday girl but I went ahead and used a black fine point pen and just went around. Um, that's kind of my signature move and if you will subscribe to my channel you know it's always an over or an afterthought which is silly because I do it almost every time but <laughs> I don't know why I always wait till later and then there's obstacles so I don't get those semi straight lines but it's what it is what it is and I usually do at least two um, outlines because I think it looks a little bit wonky that way and I do like the wonkiness um, I have these cut stripped adhesive strips that I bought from close to my heart which Sure, I know I can use white paper, but this really does save a little bit of adhesive and um, also make sure that your strips are um, even. So uh, that was a good buy in my opinion. So I just hand wrote some stuff and then I'm going to cut them out and I'm going to place them on that bottom sort of center-ish of this layout and pretty much call it done. Like I said, it's pretty simple layout, um, not a whole lot going on, but I do like that I use that pattern paper in the background. I think that added a whole lot and I hope you agree. So um, if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do at least two videos a week. One is always scrapbooking and the second is whatever it is I'm creating in the command center. The command center is the name of my craft room and also my blog. I'll have all my links below, but thank you so much for watching. Bye.